I think uh, one of the, well, I'd say the biggest thing that our offense uh, needs to focus on um, during this bye week is uh, getting Kennedy Brooks um, where he can start. Um, man, our offense is good, but it needs that after Rodney Anderson comes down. And I, and I knew that uh, Kennedy Brooks uh, looked good in, in, in garbage time and, and um, had a lot of big runs and limited possessions, but I, I didn't know how much of that was um, just against garbage time, how much of that's just kind of situational. Because you remember Rodney Anderson at the beginning of uh, last year, it seems like uh, every time he got the ball, he was swarmed with defenders, and um, some of the other guys, Abdul Adams especially, um, were getting a lot of open holes, and it just kind of turned out that way. Um, a lot of that was just bad luck. So I didn't know how much of that would be, um, how much of that was the case with Kenny Brooks. Um, it seems like he was always running through wide open holes, and it seems like, well, as one uh, uh, radio personality said, I could have run through those holes. Um, and against garbage time, how much of that is um, just bad defense, and I don't know. So I wanted to look at all of the runs in the last two games that uh, Kendy Brooks had, and uh, I came away much more impressed um, than I thought I would be even. Uh, he's the real deal. Um, he may not be as... Um, he may not be as uh, uh, well-rounded as Rodney Anderson, as versatile as he is, um, but he's on that level uh, of elite back, I think, um, Heisman level. Um, and he needs to be getting as many touches as possible because he's not just a big play waiting to happen. Um, it's a big play probably every few times he touches the ball, um, depending on what the defense is doing, of course, and who the defense you're playing. Uh, this is the first one. Uh, it's just a uh, like an option pitch, and uh, again, I, I said previously, Kendall Murray uh, or Kyler Murray, excuse me, is um, so good at reading, uh, making the right decisions. It's just one of the best I've ever seen, um, and he does this. Uh, obviously, he's gonna. They are uh, faking um, a regular run to try to suck the linebackers in, and then um, run the the option on the defensive end. He gets it. Nothing really fancy here except he's got deceptive speed um, and just acceleration um, just almost immediately. He can. It, it doesn't even look like he's going as fast as he is, um, but he hits the hole uh, and gets upfield so quickly. And I don't know how much weight he has, but um, so much momentum that gets that mass moving. Um, you can really tell whenever he... Uh, Whenever he cuts or whenever he, he hits somebody, you can um, see just how much mass he has moving and getting it moving that quickly. Um, it's like a, a, a truck kind of in a way, uh, but his his he can cut uh, really well as well, which I'll um, show later. But it's just it's different. He gets that momentum going and he's always going forward. Uh, right now, he m makes that move up field. And he's got the blocks, so uh, he's got a good situation here. Um, most backs are probably going to make a big play on that. But he just hits that hard, um, that that speed right there, um, and has really, really good vision, knows how to take on that, uh, take on that tackle as well. This is the play. Um, it's not much, but it's actually the only one I saw of him catching the ball. This is the one where he, uh, Kyler picks up his own fumble. Uh, and passes. Kyler does a good job finding the the hole. It makes a, a pretty good catch. Um, and uh, I didn't really realize that was Brooks at the time, um, but I thought that was good. At least showing that he's a, a, a at least a decent receiver. The the uh, uh, times that he didn't um, make a first down or make a very good run it definitely wasn't his fault. Um, in fact, the two cases really um, they are Alvarez's fault who, as we all remember, did not play well and uh, just <laughs> never really seen him play well, to be honest. Um, but uh, here he's going to get um, pushed so far back in the backfield, um, he's, there's just no way that Brooks can really get around him to follow his lead blocker. Um, you can see he's got space over here, um, but he's forced to turn back inside um, where the unblocked guys are, and he makes that guy miss. Um, does a good job trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, 
um, but uh, there's just nothing he can do. One thing that's been interesting is that we haven't been running the, our bread and butter uh, garden tackle pull play very much. We didn't run it very much at all against Texas, and I'm not exactly sure why, because it, it seemed to be almost unstoppable. Um, so I, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what, what goes on with that um, moving forward. Um, I really hope defenses didn't figure it out or something. I don't think that's the case, but I um, haven't really looked um, closely enough to find out. Um, but this is the uh, what it is, the garden tackle play. And uh, really, he's just going to hit it so quickly. Uh, he gets up field, and he's so fast um, and hard through that hole. I mean, there's just no chance uh, of uh, any defenders making a play. He gets the two blocks at the point of attack. None of the guys uh, in, on the backside um, have a chance at uh, getting over and making a play. And he just hits it straight up, and he gets that momentum going. And there's that move. He's just so smooth uh, as he kind of glides through. It's crazy because um, he makes really powerful cuts like that, but it doesn't slow him down at all. Um, but it, all that momentum <laughs> that he has in that mass, um, it, it's just really impressive. Here's a better angle. You can see just how uh, much of a cut that is. Um, right there. I mean, that's a massive change in direction. Uh, to be able to change that direction that quickly without losing any forward momentum, um, that's incredibly strong legs. <laughs> uh, and to have that much mass um, going forward, uh, that's, uh, man, it's, it's going to be, uh, I can tell why he has so many big plays. At this point in the game, Kyler is not uh, in. We have Kendall, and um, Kendall is going to be reading, uh, it's a, a, a zone read, uh, where we're going to be kind of outside zone blocking um, to the right, to the uh, short side. And he's going to be reading the outside linebacker here who's going to be uh, blitzing. Now, normally, uh, Kyler right here would, would pull the ball. Um, unfortunately for um, Kennedy, oh, I'll keep on to call him Trey Brooks. Unfortunately for Kennedy Brooks, again, um, good old Jonathan Alvarez is getting pushed so far in the backfield um, he can't uh, hit that hole, uh, which is there, and you can tell. I mean, if he hits that, he's he's gone. Um, but he can't do it because Alvarez is is pushed back. So he's going to have to um, find the next hole, which is really there is none except uh, you. I mean, you have a free uh, defender here who's really uh, not in good. Uh, who he is in good position, not good position for Kennedy um, to try to get past him, but um, he leans forward. He gets that really good lean right there. Look how much that, I mean, that's really, really nice. Um, and he's, he's uh, getting that speed going, and he's uh, getting as close to the blocker as he can to try and squeeze in the hole between them. Uh, and he's actually going to get through that arm tackle because he's forcing him to, to, to use an arm tackle, um, not just because of the option, uh, the, the zone read, excuse me, um, but also because he's um, squeezing so far into the, the, the line there. Um, and he's actually able to just power right through it without slowing down at all. This is something we saw Keith Ford do um, that Keith Ford was so good at when he was here. Um, but he gets through that without even slowing down, and he's, he hits that second level um, very quickly uh, and, again, makes that move, uses the ref <laughs> to his advantage. Um, and, again, that's a quick move, but he doesn't lose any forward momentum in doing it. It just makes it look so easy, that glide, uh, and because of his speed, just really doesn't have any chance. And see, so he doesn't have to make a move here um, because of the speed, um, he's not able to, you think, oh, well, he's going to get an angle on him. He's able to, to get a, to, uh, make the tackle he needs to veer around, but he can just use his speed, 
um, and there's just no way he can get to him um, before he gets to the end zone. Now this is at the end of the game. We're just trying to uh, run the clock out and not score. So um, no, no uh, that we're really trying too hard to to get anything in there. Just they know we're going to run it, so they're um, just kind of run blitzing. Um, it's the same play as before, really, except um, they're not outside zone blocking. Looks like they're just I don't know inside zone blocking or drive blocking. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but again, just reading the outside. Uh, linebacker, but these cuts are just so impressive. Um, again, he, it's almost like a video game. Uh, like he just makes a perfect cut immediately. Look at that. Um, that's a big change uh, in momentum, but he doesn't. He doesn't. I mean, it's like it's so smooth. I mean, there's there's no slowing down or anything. I mean, he just he hits it so quickly, and then again. Uh, he's trying to get outside, uh, but there the he's not. Uh, he doesn't really have outside leverage on the on the defensive end there. So um, he's got to turn it back. And I'm gonna rewind it a little bit, um, and he's going to quickly get upfield. And uh, he does have to 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 stop a little bit uh, abruptly, but he quickly gets upfield, gets that lean, um, and then of course gets gang tackled really strange second down we kneel and then third down we run it uh and uh then on fourth down we kick a field goal which is very very strange i don't know what we were doing but um again basically same type of play um he's going to get the ball immediately turn up field um he makes that cut right there looks for the hole finds it really good vision um hits it hard and uh, gets that forward lean uh, and it's up to the safety to come up and actually uh, should have been targeting. You'll see he hits him right in the helmet. Um, and that basically knocks him around, keeps him from falling forward and getting uh, probably a couple more yards. Um, but he kind of pinballs around and eventually ends up getting, uh, looks like about eight of the ten yards that he needed. Okay, now we go to the Texas game. Um, it's just a couple of runs. Um, that I want to show you from uh, Trey because he really only had two, but they were both really big ones. Uh, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Well, I'll show you. Uh, it's pretty simple, uh, just a zone read. Um, here's the, the guy Kyler is reading. He's going to hand off. Um, but the linebackers are coming in, um, so there, there's nothing inside. He's going to have to make a jump cut to the outside. Um, and I'll kind of show this uh, later on a little easier, but um, typically, um, as most of you probably know, or at least some of you, uh, you want to run into that hole, and then at the last second, you, you stop and then jump cut to the outside um, to keep those linebackers in, uh, let them get in as far as possible. Um, then if there's any blocks coming off, like a combo block, um, they'll have time to get them. Or if they try to get outside, they'll have to go out um, and kind of around the, uh, the line, which hopefully you're pushing back, which we're not really doing. But um, then that uh, allows you, um, the running back, to have speed and get to the outside. Um, but he does not do that. You know, he, it's very... You know, I haven't studied a lot of running backs, obviously, but it's not. I, I noticed it when I was watching him run live uh, that he just looked different. It was it, it, like a gliding. Uh, it, I don't know. It's just very strange. He he makes his cuts earlier than uh, most ball carriers, whether it be receivers or running or running backs. Uh, he makes it before that they do. Um, so he's actually going to make his cut right now. Uh, instead of going up and then jump cutting to the outside, he actually makes his cut now, but he doesn't lose uh, any momentum. Again, it's just almost like a like a perfect angle, uh, and all of a sudden his aiming point is now here instead of here. Um, so he runs it almost like a, a, an off tackle play and uses his speed um, to just get past the line. I mean, they have no chance um, because he's so fast. He's so fast so quickly. Um, and then he's going to make his uh, a next move right here. Um, so instead of coming up and then making a move, he makes it early, and but he doesn't and kind of completes the move here. 
um, but he uses his, he doesn't lose any speed, and so by making his cut early, um, he still has the same kind of effect, but it, it, it just looks like he's gliding um, past the defense and allows him to make those uh, really big plays, and the, and the defense can't um, get off box and, and swarm to the, the tackle like they would like to. And here's a triple option, uh, or a triple option look anyway, with uh, Lamb uh, doing a reverse. Um, Ford is going to be, the tackle is going to be pulling, um, you can see, and uh, helping Carson Meyer. Um, so you should be going around uh, and, and sealing off uh, the linebacker here, but because Meyer needs some help, um, he's going to take the most uh, dangerous man, the first kind of helmet he sees pop through. Um, and uh, Kyler, because I guess the linebacker, it's hard to tell who he's reading, but um, the linebacker comes up um, pretty hard, so he's going to give off uh, to the running back again. The, he almost always makes the right read. It's very impressive. Um, but again, he's going to make that move right there. Um, instead of just um, taking the ball and then just kind of bending around, he's going to get up in that hole and then uh, make a perfect cut right there. Um, to the outside and follow his blockers, um, in this case, Meyer and uh, Ford. Um, but that the, the speed at which he can do that, um, see so he's at full speed and he's got that mass behind him. Uh, that little bit of speed advantage, I think, makes a difference because, um, because of the blocks don't have to be held quite as long. You can see um, he's uh, the unblocked outside linebacker here. He initially comes in uh, because of the movement, um, but that's enough because uh, if he was a step slower, um, then you wouldn't have to take a, a different angle, and he might be able to get around and uh, make the tackle. And then, of course, uh, this guy here, I'm not exactly sure if he's a safety or what, uh, coming up, um, you can tell if he's just a hair um, behind, um, he'd be able to make that tackle, but instead... He's got that 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 fluid speed. I just run the whole thing. He just he never loses momentum. He just keeps going, and then uh, makes a great move to get right in between the two guys. Um, ducks his head, falls forward, uh, and ends up making eight yards on it. And this is the play that got him uh, pulled. Um, that you can tell they're kind of setting up this play um, with uh, Lamb going around. Uh, reversing is actually going to be an option, um, and I believe um, Kennedy Brooks is supposed to fake um, the run inside, uh, and and uh, Kyle is supposed to fake and then uh, try to get the linebackers coming in and then run an option to the outside. But um, Kennedy Brooks uh, looks like he he starts to, but then stops and makes thinks, oh no, I'm supposed to go out. He, I don't know exactly sure what he's doing. Um, but at least he goes out and blocks somebody. I mean, he doesn't look like, I don't know what to do, um, which, that I don't know, that impresses me because uh, you don't see that very often, if, especially with a young player. If they don't really know what to do, they make a mistake. Um, they kind of don't know what to do, but instead immediately goes, okay, well, I'm going to go, I'm going to do something. I'm going to block somebody. Um but it should have, uh, I mean, there's no reason why the play shouldn't have worked. I understand Kyler getting frazzled on it. Um, but uh, you can tell right here, he goes to throw the pass. Um, he makes that a good pass. He catches it. He's gone, um, especially second and three. Uh, I mean, he's going to get uh, at least a first down, um, at least past the 20, uh, maybe even a touchdown, uh, depending on uh, what happens with, with this guy here. But Kyler just throws it into the stands. Um, even if he had just thrown just kind of a, a, a little short uh, nothing pass to him real quick, uh, even if he had to kind of stop to catch it, he would have at least gotten the first down. Um, but instead, I guess he, I don't know if he's too excited or um, ends up throwing it away or if he was throwing it away on purpose because he didn't know what to do. Um, but that was still a, a missed opportunity. Okay, now this is not Kennedy Brooks running it, um, but this is on the same drive, uh, and I wanted to show kind of for comparison. Uh, here's Sermon, who I'm really high on, by the way. I, I mean, I think he's 
great back um, for what he does. Um, but we need the element of uh, Kenny Brooks. Um, but you'll see it's very similar to uh, uh, the play that he had a couple of uh, the play um, where I said he didn't jump cut. Um, he went to the outside. So this is a similar type of situation. Let me back it up a little bit. It's a zone read. Um, so he's the Kyler's reading this man and ends up handing it off to him. Now the uh, the hole was supposed to kind of be in this area here, but it could be anywhere. I mean, he's supposed to just find it. You ideally don't want the hole to be on the same side as the read man. But uh, earlier in the year, we saw a really big play um, from uh, Rodney Anderson uh, doing the same thing. Um, although actually, I believe it was uh, maybe in a defensive tackle even. So uh, even more impressive of a play where he ends up uh, going back uh, towards uh, where the read man is and then making a big play because that's where the hole was. So you can do it. Um, but this is what he does. You see, uh, right, well, let me just say, right at this moment, this is where, uh, probably right here, this is where Kenny Brooks would make his immediate move and change the aiming point to being right about here. Um, without slowing down, he kind of go around like that without changing speed because he sees um, the hole is clogged up. He sees it very, very quickly. Um, Sermon ends up stopping uh, and then kind of trying to find the hole. He goes up into it and then tries to jump cut outside right there. Uh, and by that point, they're able to uh, tackle him. He's not able to make it. Um, some backs can, um, and he may make that sometimes, um, but uh, I just kind of want to show with my mouse, um, this is where if he had done what Kenny Brooks is, I mean, you can tell there's a big difference between being here and being there. Um, and the when he does it, the, the linebacker still gets sucked in, um, even though he changes his direction. Um, it, it's just really impressive. Uh, how he does it um, so quickly, and he makes his move early, um, he sees what he needs to do, um, and then does it uh, without slowing down at all, uh, and he makes such a, a, an almost perfect um, change of direction. It's just really, really impressive, um, and uh, the, the big plays I, I don't believe are a fluke. Uh, I think that's um, it's something he's going to continue to do. Um, so we got to do whatever we can do to uh, quickly um, get it so that he's not um, uh, making mistakes or doing whatever he has to do to stay in the game because that's an element that will take this offense to, I mean, a, a whole different level. I mean, a, 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 a significantly a uh, higher level, uh, maybe even a bigger level than what Rodney Anderson was able to do last year, maybe even a bigger jump, uh, in my opinion.